Crop circles are basically means of extraterrestrial origin. Crop circles have always been strange, but what happened in Wiltshire in 2025 took the mystery to another level. For the first time, researchers claim they've captured real-time footage of a crop circle actually forming. One formation had everyone baffled and people were saying, well, what is this? Not after the fact, not traced in the morning dew, but as it was happening. Silent, sudden, and caught clearly on camera. The design appeared with shocking precision, and just moments before, people nearby reported seeing strange glowing lights hovering low over the field. No one stepped forward to claim it. No footprints, no broken stems, nothing left behind but questions. If this wasn't a hoax, then what exactly did they witness unfold in the darkness? Wiltshire's Crop Circle Curse Wiltshire has long been the epicenter of the world's most mysterious crop circle phenomena. Nestled in southern England, not far from Stonehenge and Avebury, its rolling hills and vast wheat fields have hosted hundreds of intricate patterns over the years, some documented as far back as the late 1970s. Locals are no strangers to waking up and finding enormous geometric shapes pressed into barley or wheat overnight, often with no footprints, tire tracks, or signs of human interference. Since 2005, over 380 crop circles have been officially recorded in this region, mostly appearing during the growing season between May and August, when the crops are tall enough to be shaped. While some formations have been debunked as pranks, most famously by Doug Bauer and Dave Chorley in the 1980s, who claimed to have created hundreds using simple tools, others still remain unexplained. Despite multiple scientific attempts, the debate continues. Witness reports of strange lights, sudden electromagnetic disturbances, and formations appearing in a matter of minutes without a single eyewitness catching anyone in the act have kept the mystery alive. Over time, Wiltshire has earned a reputation not just among conspiracy theorists, but among serious researchers and tourists alike, as a place where something strange continues to unfold in the open fields each summer. In May 2025, that mystery roared back into public attention. On May 15th, a striking formation resembling a four-pointed star or Celtic knot was discovered near the village of Sutton Veney, just 13 miles from Stonehenge. It appeared overnight in a barley field with perfect geometry and symmetry that quickly drew the attention of both locals and crop circle enthusiasts online. The first images and drone footage confirmed that it was not just a crude pattern, but a carefully shaped design with sharply defined edges and balanced proportions. Just four days later, on May 19th, another formation appeared in a field in Dorset, around 30 miles from the first, featuring two overlapping circles filled with geometric figures. What truly caught attention beyond the symmetry was the timing and the silence. No group or individual stepped forward to claim responsibility, and farmers in both locations reported no signs of human activity during the night. Adding to the creepy quality of the discovery, several local residents reported seeing unexplained lights hovering over the fields in the hours before the patterns were found. While not definitive proof of anything paranormal, these accounts echo decades of similar reports that have come from Wiltshire over the years. The landowner of the Sutton Venny Field, understandably upset about the crop damage, still chose to allow visitors onto the property for a small donation. His decision helped feed the buzz online and locally, drawing more people to see the design for themselves. Meanwhile, Monique Klinkenberg, director of a crop circle exhibition in Wiltshire, spoke to the BBC and emphasized that the mystery continues. The more I learned about the phenomenon, the more I was amazed. Credible people were witnessing incredible things, she said. So far, no physical evidence has emerged to disprove the authenticity of the Sutton Veni or Dorset formations. Their sudden appearance, combined with the lack of tire tracks or trampled crops, leaves many wondering how such large, complex designs could appear so fast and so cleanly. And while skeptics argue that skilled artists working overnight could still pull it off, even they admit the conditions needed, total secrecy, zero noise, perfect execution, and no trace, are hard to achieve, especially twice in under a week. Which brings us back to the question no one can quite shake. 
how are they doing this? Before we dive deeper into what might really be behind these circles, make sure you're subscribed. There's so much more to this mystery, and what's coming next might completely change everything you know. What's really behind the circles? When people talk about crop circles, there's one thing they keep coming back to. How are these shapes being formed so precisely and so quickly, often without any trace of human activity? There isn't a single explanation that answers every question, but a few ideas have been floating around for decades, and they've resurfaced again after the 2025 discoveries. Some of them sound far-fetched at first, but the more you hear about what's actually being observed in the fields, the harder it gets to dismiss them outright. One theory that's been around for a long time suggests that natural energy could be responsible, specifically a kind of rotating electrical force similar to ball lightning. Back in the 1980s, a British meteorologist named Terence Meaden proposed that certain atmospheric conditions might produce spinning plasma vortexes. These would behave like small whirlwinds filled with charged particles and could touch down over a field, flattening the crops into patterns before dissipating. Meaden thought Wiltshire's geology, with its high chalk content and magnetic anomalies, might be the kind of place where this happens more often. At the time, this explanation made sense for the simple, circular shapes being found. But as the formations have become more complex and layered, people have started questioning whether a plasma vortex could really account for straight lines, sharp corners, and intricate geometry. Still, the idea hasn't disappeared, especially since some crop formations are accompanied by reports of lights in the sky and sudden changes in the atmosphere. These observations match up with what you might expect from a high-energy natural event like plasma activity. Another idea that's gained attention in recent years involves directed energy. This one leans more into the technological side of things. Some researchers, including physics professor Richard Taylor, have suggested that microwave radiation might be responsible. When microwave energy is applied to certain parts of a plant, it can cause the cells to heat up quickly, which softens the stem and lets it bend without snapping. That would explain why, in many real crop formations, the stalks are flattened but not broken, and often continue to grow afterward. Taylor pointed out that portable microwave devices, like magnetrons, are small enough to carry and can be battery-powered, making them easy to use without detection. Back in 2002, MIT students actually ran an experiment using similar devices to try to recreate the effects found in genuine crop circles. While their results weren't perfect, they did manage to replicate some of the same stem bending and discoloration seen in the field. There have also been reports of electronic devices malfunctioning near formations, which could point to electromagnetic interference. That detail alone has kept the microwave theory alive, especially when combined with the fact that these effects seem to happen rapidly and leave behind subtle but measurable signs in the crops themselves. Then there's the more grounded idea that skilled people using modern tools are behind it all. With access to GPS, computer software, drones and laser leveling equipment, it's not hard to imagine a small, organized team planning a design, scouting the field, and executing it in the middle of the night without leaving much of a trace. Circle-making groups in the UK have admitted to doing exactly this in the past, and some of them treat it like an art form. Media outlets once profiled these groups and explained how they use mapping programs to plot intricate layouts before stepping into a field. Using planks, ropes, and survey markers, they can lay down complex shapes with astonishing precision. And it's true that a lot of the known hoaxes follow this pattern. What's strange, though, is that many of the more recent and impressive formations, like the ones from May 2025, haven't been claimed by any group. No one has come forward to say, we made this one, and considering how much attention these designs are getting, it seems odd that the creators wouldn't want credit. That absence of ownership leaves a gap that people are still trying to make sense of. So what's actually happening out there in the fields of Wiltshire and Dorset? That part is still unclear. Every explanation comes with its own list of problems, but each one also lines up with certain patterns that keep showing up again and again. The lights in the sky, the microwave level plant damage, the untouched soil, the lack of footprints, the complexity of the designs. It's not about picking one theory and running with it. It's about trying to understand what all these details might be pointing toward. 
especially now that new evidence keeps surfacing. But beyond the patterns themselves, something even stranger has been showing up inside the crops. Biological anomalies in the crops. Inside some crop circles, researchers have noticed changes that go far beyond stems being pushed over. In certain cases, the joints where a stem bends, known as nodes, appear swollen or even ruptured as though they were subjected to sudden internal heat. A classic example comes from Utah in the mid-1990s when investigators reported microscopic pockets of water inside wheat stalks that had been superheated and burst, leaving small cavities that could not be explained by someone walking through the field with a board. Biophysicist William Levengood observed that the nodes in some formations seemed to have bent and reoriented themselves, sometimes even showing signs of light scorching. He theorized that a rapid pulse of energy, perhaps from a type of spinning vortex combining plasma and microwave radiation, might have caused these effects without physically crushing the plants. The changes extend to the soil as well. In some crop circles believed to be genuine, soil samples contain unusually high concentrations of tiny magnetic iron spheres. These microspheres are rarely found in nearby undisturbed fields, suggesting that they were deposited at the moment the formation appeared. But the surprises do not stop at the soil. Seeds taken from within these formations often germinate poorly or grow unevenly, hinting that something disrupted their natural biology when the formation occurred. This all matters because it changes the way we look at what is happening. It is no longer just about flattened patterns in a field, but about unseen forces interacting with life, producing subtle but measurable thermal, magnetic, and biological signatures. Of course, skeptics acknowledge that plants can be bent by human activity, but they point out that mechanical flattening usually breaks stems or leaves shattered nodes. In contrast, these swollen nodes and intact stalks suggest a rapid internal expansion, something that is much harder to mimic by hand or with boards. And if those biological signatures weren't strange enough, the skies above these fields have added another layer of mystery. Are we looking at non-human intelligence? Over the years, people living near crop circle hotspots like Wiltshire have quietly shared stories about strange lights appearing in the sky before a formation shows up. Some witnesses have even described a crackling sensation in the air or feeling an unexpected chill while the lights were present. These details don't sound dramatic when told calmly, but the fact that similar descriptions come from different people across different regions makes them difficult to brush off. Linda Moulton Howe, who has been documenting crop circle phenomena for decades, has collected many of these accounts. On her website Earth Files, she's published interviews and reports from people who saw these lights just before a formation was discovered in the same area. In one case, a group of people saw a pair of glowing orbs hovering in complete silence before disappearing behind a hill. The next morning, a fresh crop formation was found in that exact spot. These witnesses weren't claiming to see UFOs in the dramatic way it's often portrayed. They were mostly confused and curious, unsure of what they had just experienced. Some of them didn't even connect what they saw to crop circles until they found out what had appeared in the field overnight. Nick Pope, the former Ministry of Defense official who used to investigate unidentified aerial sightings in the UK, has spoken about similar incidents. During his time overseeing reports, he received several cases where pilots and radar operators observed strange objects near the ground that didn't match the speed or flight patterns of anything known. In some cases, these objects disappeared in seconds. He has said publicly that while there is no solid proof linking these objects to crop formations, the timing often raises eyebrows. There are also people who have started to view these events as something more than random sightings. Some researchers think the lights and the formations might be part of a larger process, not necessarily aliens or visitors from other planets, but something that interacts with the land in a way we don't fully understand. It's been suggested that the formations could be a kind of signal or that they might carry some kind of coded information based on geometry and layout. These ideas are still on the fringe, and most scientists tend to avoid them, but they keep coming up because the patterns themselves are often incredibly precise. Combined with the glowing lights, the silence, the electromagnetic oddities, and the speed at which the formations appear. The idea that this is just a prank 
stops making sense for a lot of people. Even the most experienced skeptics have not been able to explain everything in a way that completely fits. There's more to this than strange lights in the sky, and the people closest to it aren't jumping to conclusions. They're just paying attention. Whatever created these formations in 2025 has left behind more than patterns in the fields. It's left us searching for answers. As new footage surfaces and witnesses continue to speak out, this mystery is only getting deeper. Subscribe for more strange stories from the timeline and let us know in the comments. Do you think this was nature, technology, or something else entirely?